Hugh Edwards will be featuring in an upcoming BBC documentary about the late Queen, Elizabeth II. The journalist was suspended by the corporation after an investigation into accusations he paid a young person thousands for sexualized images. Police looked into the incident and found no criminal wrongdoing. Reports have claimed that Mr. Edwards is still expected to leave the BBC after the results of an internal review. The documentary will shed light on the Queen's final days. Princess Anne reveals the late Queen's thinking during her last days in an interview for the BBC film, and says about the accession of her brother the King, I'm not sure that anybody can really prepare themselves for that kind of change. Elizabeth's only daughter said it was serendipity she was at Balmoral before her mother's death and she weirdly felt a sense of relief when the imperial state crown was removed from her coffin, symbolic of her role passing to Charles. The princess praises Queen Camilla for her outstanding understanding of her role as consort and the difference it makes to the king, who she says is learning new things about the institution of the monarchy. The voice of Hugh Edwards is heard in the documentary announcing the Queen's death on the BBC. The broadcaster has been suspended by the corporation while it conducts an investigation into allegations made against him earlier this year. The 90-minute documentary, Charles III, The Coronation Year, to be screened on Boxing Day, is narrated by Helena Bonham Carter and features contributions from Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and close friends, and gives a behind-the-scenes look at rehearsals for the coronation. Speaking about her mother the late Queen, Anne says, I think there was a moment when she felt that it would be more difficult if she died at Balmoral. And I think we did try and persuade her that that should NT be part of the decision-making process. She concluded with a laugh. So I hope she felt that that was right in the end, because I think we did. Queen Elizabeth, the UK's longest-serving monarch, died peacefully at Balmoral in Scotland on September 8 last year, aged 96, after reigning for 70 years. It appears at the end of her life the late Queen was still concerned with duty and others, not wanting her passing in Scotland to cause added issues for those implementing London Bridge, the code name for the arrangements for her lying in state, vigils and a grand state funeral. Different plans were in place if the Queen had died at any one of her main royal residences, from Sandringham to Windsor Castle, and even overseas, with the arrangements for Scotland given the code name Operation Unicorn. Charles III, The Coronation Year will air on BBC One at 6.50pm on Boxing Day.